Big idea number three, you can change permissions. In higher ed, we often talk about empowering students to take charge of their learning, to be more engaged in a community of learners, but often our technologies really don't help support that. If you're a faculty member who wants to be more of a mentor and a guide and facilitate learning, you'll be interested in permissions. Today, we're going to look at a course site from the instructor perspective. However, keep in mind that permissions also apply to project sites. So we'll log into our demo course site and click on Announcements. Tools are managed at the tool level, so as we scan across, we see permissions. And we're greeted with a screen that looks like this. Let's take a minute to break down what we're looking at. First, there are roles in your course site, and those roles have bundles of permissions associated with them. However, you are able to change some. Let's look at the instructor and the student perspective in particular, and let's simplify even more so that we're really only looking at the read, write, and delete permissions. Let's say that you want a student to be able to post a new announcement. You'll simply need to highlight the new, delete own, and revise own permissions. Click and save. Let's see how that works. So if we return back to our course site, we're going to click on new, delete own, and revise own, and save. A student can now post a new announcement. Let's go to calendar. And again, as we scan across, we see permissions. Wherever you see permissions as an option, you'll have the ability to change at a fine-grained level what different roles in your course site are able to do. So let's go to resources. And again, you'll see permissions. So if we look at students, they cannot create new resources, but they can read. So we're going to change that. Students can now upload files and folders to the resources area. So to summarize permissions, keep in mind they can be modified per tool, they are very fine-grained and you have a lot of control, and you can enable participants to really take ownership of their learning and of managing the site.